Welcome to another video from alpacaguild.com. You join us on a very overcast morning and incredibly wet ground. But today is an exciting day for two of our stud males that are going to be relocated to a new home. Before we do that, we're moving some of the girls that were located close to their paddock. Otherwise they will cause a distraction and make it a lot harder to load them. Miss Moneypenny also lives with these girls. She likes to stay behind just in case there's some food left over. But as soon as she starts to see the girls moving, she will catch up with them. They're incredibly easy to move around. Just encourage them where you need to go. Maybe a few arm movements. They know what they need to do. Sure enough, Miss Moneypenny's joining them. With that done, let's get the specialized alpaca trailer into position. We're using the tractor because of the incredibly wet ground. We'll then set all the four wheel drive settings that we need to ensure that we're gonna be able to get out of here safely, including checking the weights so that we know exactly what the weight of the trailer is with the alpacas and that it can be supported by this vehicle. Let's get those lights connected and of course the safety chain as well. That's it, next, the boys need to get loaded up. With the magic of video editing, we've made it look simple. The other thing that we need to do, and also is simple, is getting the information correct so that when they arrive at their new home, the new owners know everything about their history. Starting with the history, let's have a look at the international herd. This is a global registry of alpaca We'll start looking by Skyfall, we found Felix, and here we can zoom in and see Skyfall Felix, and we can see the relationship he has to his parents as claimed. He was born here on our farm to NZ Icon Zoe, who was mated with Highway Star Gold Flash, who has exceptionally good genetics. It's important to use something like the family tree to make sure that when you're breeding from an animal, you know that you're going to be bringing some really good characteristics from those parents into your new herd. When we look above Zoe, we see that we actually have DNA verification for her parents, Sierra Vista Extreme and Chanel Alice. It may be important for you that you also have DNA verification based on the, the herd that you're trying to build and the value of your animals you'll see that there are no links above these two. Not all animals have connections. Quite uniquely to the Alpaca Guild Global Registry is that we can have animals even when there are no other links. This ensures that every animal has the right to be registered. Let's move on to now to the doing the transfer. So here we look at Felix. We can see that he has a couple of medications due they're not for about a year, and that's because we make sure that all medications have been given before they leave the farm. So we'll check on that medication tab, just check that everything's up to date, which it is. In the sale tab, had he been listed for sale, we'd have had other information here. In the alpaca details area, you can put all sorts of information to support a future purchase, but we're just going to be doing a direct transfer put in the email address of the recipient and hit transfer. We can see at the bottom here that transfer is now in progress waiting to be accepted by the farm where Felix is going. Once accepted all of that medical history automatically gets transferred across so that nothing is lost. All the records stay with the alpaca. Let's do the same with Prestige. Prestige was purchased uh, rather than born here. And one thing you'll notice is that we have an ID from another ID issuer. There are many registries and it's important that we actually record information from those other registries if they are already registered. That can be useful uh, when breeding with other animals that may not be on this registry. Again, we follow the same simple process Transfer is now in progress.
Thank you for watching. If you've got some value of this, please hit that like button and subscribe to future videos. Thank you very much.